Не. He's the access and Norman is like in the floor. <laughs> He is in the floor. I saw that. Like. <laughs> Don't you like hang from it? No, no, you don't hang from it. You're supposed to get across to that side. Uh. Look down? Maybe there's something down there. I like how you even lean down. <laughs> like, it doesn't help you see in the game. But I feel like I'm in the game. You feel like you're Norman, man. I feel sorry for you. Oh, I know how to do it now. I tried. Um, maybe use a vacuum cleaner, because the, the Deku bag really seemed to help. What's the little beetle gonna do? Nothing. I swear it's with all. There we go. To the gates of the underworld. Underworld. It's amazing. That, oh, because that thing's watertight. Yep. It's not a thing. It's a statue. A giant Buddhist statue. I didn't know there were Buddhists back then in this time period for Zelda. Were you aware of that? Nope. I mean, Buddhism is one of the oldest religions on the planet. You know what is considered the oldest? Oh god damn it, the cell phone didn't planet. even come up. Oh. What? Hinduism. Is it even older than Buddhist? Yeah, because we know, like, the founder. There's records of the founder of Buddhism, but there's no records for Hindus. For Hinduism. Like, the earliest records of Hinduism show that, yeah, people worship Hinduism. And, uh, and that's really not much to go on. Does it say your shields? Oh! Look at that! Look at that! He's scared of the shield! <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> push him in there. Just flash a shield at him! Does that work? Yeah, I guess. That was cool as flashing a shield. <laughs> What you gonna do, piggy? <laughs> Zombie pig! They're not even pigs, they're bogob... bogoblins? Is that what they were? <laughs> Curse! Bogoblin, yeah. Oh, so I'm thinking of picking up the figure at Captain Phasma, but I'm not sure. It's kinda like my Phasma that I have already. <laughs> but then again, well, you gotta I... figure out Kylo Ren, though. I have like 30 Kylo Ren's already! Have you picked the ones? Yeah, you have! You came home with a box of Kylo I, I came home with a box of, Ky of Kylo Ren's from work and it's like... I, I, I should feel guilty about this. But I do not. I ruined some kid's Christmas. Ah! Ah, he supposed to be a re-dead! Yeah, God, a redid freak me the fuck out though. Can you imagine that they like did a redid in Twilight Princess style, where things looked more realistic? God, they... it it would I terrify was... me. <laughs> they, you know, they actually probably didn't do a redid for the sake of not <laughs> scaring people. Man, I would like to see an Unreal Engine redid. So all the Unreal Engine stuff they've been doing for Nintendo games? Yeah, the Nintendo is all- no, can't do that. Stop now. 
And you know, which a lot of people say Nintendo's being a hard ass on it, but at the same time, yeah. protecting intellectual property. Right? Yep. Don't mind me. Yep. I'm just getting my bomb bag filled. It's like when they did that real Unreal Engine tech demo for yep. the first level of Super Mario or 64, remember that? Yeah. And you're the one who showed it to me. Where, in my opinion, I think the physics for the jump was just like... Yep. It was just... It seemed off. It, yeah, it was one of those... Mario's running also looks strange in HD. And he runs like that. That's what the weird thing is in those games. You know what I'm talking it about, just right? It doesn't look right. Like him running, it's weird. Is it just because of the way his arms... Well, I'm cursed. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, he's not a zombie anymore. Oh, okay, I know there's something in the eye. The eye of the beholder? Is it the eye of the tiger? No. So it's kind of sad that Gravity Falls ended. But it ended on a good... I would say it ended on a good note. Why don't you move closer so the beetle doesn't have to travel as far? I'm fine the way I'm doing it! Shut but that the beetle fuck up. isn't! You're making him work longer. And you don't pay him enough. I don't pay him at all. Exactly, you don't pay him enough. Oh, you see top... Well, just... What's called? Top 10 most overpowering anime characters? Uh, no I did not. Goku's number one. Yeah. Although, to be fair, I think One Punch Man... Well... The only reason they didn't rank One Punch Man higher, and according to what they said is, because One Punch Man's, what's it called, it's still a relatively new series compared to Dragon Ball, and you still have yet to tap into his potential. So just send Doomsday after him. You can't solve all of your problems by sending Doomsday. Yes, you can! No, you can't. It doesn't work that way. Why not? Because Doomsday is a cop-out like the Incredible Hulk. I told you what would happen in a Hulk versus Doomsday fight, right? It would never end. One of them would literally beat the other to death. They'll revive. And then it'll, it'll more, like, more than likely be Hulk beating Doomsday to death. Doomsday revives, is able to take more punishment now. And the fight just keeps going that way. Do you think, Hulk, do you think that would ever end? Uh, I actually think, and I was telling Jaime this, that we were trying to figure out how the fight would go. Like, 9 out of 10 times, I think it would end in a stalemate. And your reason for it? Uh, Doomsday, heal Doomsday and Hulk just healed way too fast to cause any long-term damage. But then, doesn't the Hulk's anger... No, but then you got Doomsday's superior... Doomsday adapts. That's what he has going for him, that he, he adapts to situations like there are even comics where he's fighting Martian Manhunter and just to defeat Martian Manhunter he develops fire breath which is Martian Manhunter's weakness yeah I know that so what does he develop to fight Darkseid or oh, Darkseid doesn't want to put up with him that's what it was huh yeah and what it really was is that he shot D Doomsday with the Omega Beams, and that killed him. And he's like, okay, throw this Okay, him. get rid of him. But then Doomsday revived. Like, revived, and when he tried that again, it just, like, made him angry. So, like, it didn't kill him. It hurt him, but it didn't kill him. And so, like... He's immune to the Omega Beams. Because Darkseid hit him with the Omega Beams. Yeah. 
But I told Jaime that there might be a scenario that Doomsday would literally develop an antidote for the Hulk. What do we develop an antidote? Like him and Hulk would fight for like decades. Like just a continuous fight. Yeah. To the point where like Doomsday will develop a cure for the Hulk. Like it's something that neutralizes the gamma radiation. Yes. And what makes it again they're gonna follow me. I just told you what led me to that conclusion. Because Doomsday is continuously adapting. Doomsday can adapt a fire breath. I'm pretty sure he can adapt like antidote to gamma poisoning. Like what would he develop against a green lantern? If he's ever adapting like I'm pretty sure the fear the of the fact that he's chasing you down would make a green lantern like shit their pants. Like there's no doubt that that's gonna happen. Like honestly, I don't see a way for a Green Lantern to defeat Doomsday. Doomsday. Like, do you see anything that can defeat Dooms or Omega Sanction? But that that's not solving the problem! It's just sending your problem to another dimension. It's sending your problem back in time! Uh, does it send you back? I thought it was just an alternate dimension. No. The Omega Sanction sends you back in time. Damn. And what happens is that once you reach the current your the time zone the timeline in which you were originally were sent, back. sent back you the universe explodes and that's it. There's no more universe. <laughs> I'm not sure if that came out on camera, but one of the dogs like snored and I was like Run, Norman! Get out of there! Did... Did Norman just die? Oh shit, I did die! Wow! I got crushed. Um... Okay then! I thought I got out of there, Tyler. I don't know about you. When you saw me running toward the edge. Well, just shine your shield and keep them away from you. Nope, better way. Just. I like that we take the. The leg. Yep, we're gonna die here. And I just inevitably accept their fate. Alright, do I climb out? Or do I take. Is it gonna be faster if I just climb out? Yeah, because don't you have to go back and raise the statue again? Yeah. Okay, when we come back, Nicky V will probably be at the boss. Because I don't want to do this, watch Norman climb anymore. So yeah. take care, everyone.